but zero zero tier is absolutely fantastic. It is so dirt simple um, to spin up uh, reachability between two machines that don't have natural routing between them. Um, it, it's uh, it's it's the simplest solution I can find, and I love it. So I want to demonstrate one of my use cases, which is you know on the heels of of completing my CCIE, I lived and breathed networking labs for a very long time. Yeah. I spun up EVNG, a couple of them at home. I spun up EVNG in the cloud. Many people can go on my uh, my YouTube channel and and see my demonstration of EVNG in the cloud. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how I'm able to stay connected to my EVNG server, whether it's at home or whether it's my cloud instance, anywhere that I am in the world at all times without having to uh, open, um, uh, without having to spin up a VPN and touch open SSL. Now, I say without having to spin up a VPN, we are spinning up a VPN, but we're not routing subnets between them. This is a full mesh of layer two endpoints is what Zero Tier um, specializes in. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make that work on this, and I'm going to try and do it live. So, um, so I have an EVNG instance in the cloud. This is on Google Cloud. Everyone can get to it right now. Maybe, I guess, I hope. And, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log into Zero Tier. Um, I'm going to create a new uh, network. I'm going to connect my computer to that network. And then I'm going to uh, get on the command line on this EVNG instance, and I'm going to connect that to it. And it's all going to take place in less than five minutes. And then I'm going to be able to connect through my tunnel anywhere that my computer is. In fact, I don't have to turn on the VPN or turn it off. And when I say VPN, I mean zero tier. I don't have to turn it on and turn it off. It'll just always be on. And anywhere I am, I'll always be connected to my lab as long as that endpoint is up. This is absolutely brilliant and makes simplifying your ingress and egress firewall rules because you only need to allow, um, uh, at the simplest, um, some outbound UDP traffic. Um, there is some efficiencies where if you want to allow inbound UDP, it allows you to go direct peer-to-peer. -peer. So, um, so there are some efficiencies, but it's in simplest form, outbound only, and this just works. So I've um, got uh, zero tier open here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I need to provide my credentials, so I'll open up my password manager. I hope that I can do this in the time that I said, less than five minutes. You're going to share those credentials later, right, Tony? <laughs> yes. So we, so, we can, uh, so we can go in and play with the zero tier network as well? Uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, i got this one, so... Let me see what I'm doing here. Uh, copy paste. And also, of course, I'm trying to manage too many windows and maybe uh, could have done this a little quicker. Okay, log in. So uh, as soon as you're logged in, I, this is a brand new account. I just started with zero tier. I have an existing account, but I started this one brand new. It tells you to create an account and it's dancing right there. Uh, create a network rather. And it automatically creates one for you. Uh, its name is Pensive Metcalf, so you can name it whatever you want. It gives you some IP space to work with and gives you your ID, your network ID to join. So that's super cool. Uh, the next thing we want to do is... Um, uh, I want to download the client. I already have the client on my workstation. So what you guys won't see is me installing the client. Instead, I'm just going to join the network. So I have the network ID here and I should be able to put it in my zero tier client in the system tray. Join network. Paste is there that in. Show them on your desktop, join. Tony? We're not seeing that on the uh, screen or not. No, I, I can't because it's on okay. a different window. But what you will see is I've now joined this network. And where am I at? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, manage routes. Where's my guys? Oh, one device has joined this network. Okay, so I have to authorize him. So I'll go ahead and click that. And this is my workstation. So my workstation just joined. So now what I'm going to do is head over to the download link. Uh, I'm going to do Linux. And um, if I just want to do this absolutely quick and dirty, we can just do this. Copy and paste this. Um, and I want to launch the shell to my, uh, to my VM, which just, just takes a second. You know, I'm always kind of 
a little bit ashamed at how slow Google Cloud is the management uh, interface here. <laughs> it, it, like Google has all the compute power in the world, but it takes forever just to SSH into a VM. Like, come on, guys. Yeah, I think they reserve the compute power for the actual compute resources. Management doesn't necessarily get priority. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to make myself uh, root to make this simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and paste in that link provided from the zero tier download page. Um, it's going to download everything that it needs. It's going to add um, a new source and we can manage this, um, manage this node from, excuse me, this software using the app software from now on. So success. Now I have a, a zero tier address. So that's working. So the next thing I want to do is I want to join my network. My network is here, my ID rather. And my shell is a zero tier CLI, join, paste, enter. Join OK. So now back on my uh, on my um, uh, management console over on Zero Tier's website, I should have another message that another node has tried to join. One device has joined this network. I have to authorize it onto the network. Let me see. Authorize, unauthorize, and also online. Where's my guys? Oh, maybe it's not there yet. Oh, uh, here we are. Uh, this one right here, this has the Google Cloud IP space. So once I authorize that, it's going to give it an IP address so that these two endpoints, my uh, workstation right here, or rather my, my laptop, and the Google Cloud EVNG node are now on the same subnet. Right, so that's why this is sort of different than your typical like um, open SSL VPN or, or IPsec tunnel, right? We're not routing subnets through it. A zero tier certainly has the capability to do that, but in this in the simplest form, we're on the same subnet. So as long as you have the software, the client software installed on any number of nodes, they should all be able to reach each other, whether on the local LAN, they should be able to go through directly to each other um, or across the internet. So this is absolutely perfect. So what I'll do is um, I have the IP address now of my EVNG node as it is on uh, the zero tier network. So if I open up a new tab and do HTTP and paste that address in, uh, I should be able to pull up the EVNG login page. So now I'm going through the tunnel. So what I can actually do right now is go into Google Cloud and close all my firewall rules, all my ingress rules that I had to allow for native console. Right, you have to allow in SSH, you have to allow in HTTP, you have to allow in um, raw TCP ports. The EVNG cookbook wants you to allow all the TCP and UDP ports through, you know, but everyone can't do that or shouldn't do that. They should feel bad when they do that in their hearts. So the best way is just to be able to reach it no matter what over zero tier. And then you can power off your VM. And when you power it back on, zero tier will start up, join the network again, and you'll be able to connect to it directly, safely and securely. This is absolutely the best way to do this I have found. And as you can see, it was less than five minutes to do that. And I'm back up and here's my lap. So now I'm connected through the tunnel. Now I could take this workstation and go to the coffee shop. I could go to Jordan's house. I could go to work. And all I have to do is browse to this URL and I will always hit uh, that box as long as it's online. So that's my zero tier tips and tricks. Uh, use case number one is being able to stay always connected to your lab. Pass Solutions has over two decades of experience building network monitoring systems designed to give you total network visibility. Total Views automation means it can be fully deployed and configured in minutes, monitoring every device, interface, and server in your entire infrastructure. And it goes deep, collecting performance, configuration, 19 different error counters, PoE, and QoS statistics on every single interface. Now, all of this information is automatically analyzed to produce plain English answers. Problems get solved faster because more information and intelligence is brought to bear. This is what total network visibility is all about. Knowing more about your network than with any other solution. Total View is easy to acquire as everything is included in the core offering. NetFlow, diagramming, path mapping, server monitoring, network automation, IPAM, cloud service monitoring, and more. 
Putting your trust in a monitoring system can require a leap of faith. From inception, TotalView has a more secure architecture and build process that helps to protect their customers. Contact Path Solutions today, where you can learn more about their competitive upgrade program. Total network visibility, rapidly deployed. Find out more at www.pathsolutions.com.